We'll download and install it, and we'll take a look at Quadrant Standard, because again, take it with a grain of salt, but it's always good to compare these to other devices on the market. So we'll do a quick Quadrant Standard test, and then we'll be done with it. Quadrant Standard, be done with the speed test, I should say. We'll continue on into the 10 megapixel camera, which, spoiler alert, is not Motorola's strong suit. So if you're looking for a camera, you may want to look elsewhere. But like I said, a lot of great things about this device. Motorola has always done one thing incredibly well. They've always done one thing incredibly, or I shouldn't say incredibly, but kind of poorly, and that's always been their imaging. So from a camera perspective, Motorola has never really been the go-to. One thing they do exceptionally well is call quality, and there's no disappointment on the Droid Ultra. The call quality is fantastic on this device. The earpiece is nice and loud. The reception's fantastic. I've had no issues whatsoever even testing this in Verizon dead spots in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I've been incredibly impressed with this phone all around, and if you're somebody like me, and I can't remember if I talked about this in part two or part one, I'm very much an old school guy. I'm on the phone a lot for work, I'm on conference calls, like the fact that this thing is great from a call quality standpoint. It matches the Moto X, it matches all the other Motorola devices I've worked with in recent memory. 9,188 on Quadrant Standard. So again, in comparison to the 12,000 or so you see on the HTC One and the Galaxy S4, it falls a little bit behind. But again, as you can see here, very impressive speed all around on this device. No, I don't want to open Amazon. I do want to open widgets.